Long before borders became ubiquitous, there existed a supercontinent named Gondwana. 200 million years after it was formed, Gondwana began to break up and after centuries of drifting in the ocean, finally shaped into the continents of Asia, Africa and Oceania. Celebrating the aura and mystery of sacred geographies and memories long before the advent of human civilization, this signature sculpture has been created by the internationally acclaimed scenographer Rajiv Sethi. Artists from the Gond tribes in Gondwana, India and painters from the Aboriginal indigenous community from Australia who also refer to an ancient site with the same name painted this structure. Gond and Aboriginal art share inspiration from their own stories about creations and bringing them to life through dashes and dots. So this particular subject that we are showing here it's called Gondwana. So it's really about a continent that has memories that are based in Africa, in India, in Australia, that suggest a common civilizational history. Ever since I've been going into interior areas in Australia to meet with the Aboriginal artists, They've been speaking about Gondwana land. I've met wonderful Gond tribals uh, who don't know where Australia is. None of the Australian Aboriginals know where India is. Speak in very similar terms. I think we were privileged to be able to get three extremely eminent Australian painters. Bring together the Aboriginal craftspeople from Australia with the Gond tribal painters from India. This is a great tribute to the two great nations and Adani Group's presence and agreeing to do something which is cross-cultural has great meaning to creative community.